All right, time to wake up. We have work to do. This is part two of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. This GameCube controller functions well. Sweet. Anyway, time to head off into the sewers. Because we need to find a way to reach our next destination. The Petal Meadows. Hey Mario, what's the deal? You didn't equip the badge Professor Franklin gave you. If you don't equip a badge, it won't do anything for you. Equip it before you forget. Alright. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Okay, so we have to add left and we have to add right. The game really doesn't tell you where it's at. Oh wait, there actually is. This place is like way too ancient. Ah! Yep, this is gonna hurt. And I only have... Wait, why is Luigi in there? Fine, let's analyze. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. That spike is super pointy, so it's better to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP at 2, attack 2, defense 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Alright, swap back. Not bad. Alright, got our health back. Let's move. What's this? That thing's kind of soggy. Fine. Oh, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, who did I... God damn it! Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just like been whack someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with some serious mocks to that, so. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. I'll give him a taste of the old technical trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't play, huh? Okay, let's get a little analysis in. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S, -S -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack 1, defense 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blooper. Hey, mustache. You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Yeah, you want to snack on those tentacles, don't you? <laughs> you heard my friend, and you're gonna pay for that. Fine, let's power it up. Dizzy, attacks might miss.
You didn't get anyone. And you're gonna get wrecked. Have a nice day. Twenty star points. Oop, loop. Very good. That was a mini boss, all right. And with the prologue behind us, we begin chapter one. Castle and Dragon. We've arrived in Petal Meadows. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. And nice, we get a star piece for our efforts. And a mushroom. And let's save our progress. All right, so now that we have that done. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a, wow, Mario, look. Be right back. Let's continue, we're back. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything like Humongous before. <laughs> totally incredible. I've never seen anything that Humongous before. It looks kind of scary too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. And you also notice that Petal Metals has a remix of the original Mario Brothers theme. Nice, we got another mushroom. Sometimes it does not show anything at all. Let's begin the fight. We're getting somewhere at least. And this goes as the close call badge. When Mario's in danger, causes enemies to sometimes miss. Yes, I like to smack people with it. Yes, I'm going to take full advantage of being stylish. Let's keep it going. We're already at 13. And what's this? I see. We'll have to come back here later for that. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself like wondering what to do, just press X and use my tattle ability, okay? 
I might be able to look up some useful info that'll help us on our adventure. Oh yeah, I forgot about these small fries. That's a Goomba. Yeah, I'm one of those in case you haven't noticed. It says here Goombas are underlings of underlings. That is totally rude. Their maximum HP is 2, they have an attack power of 1 and a defense of 0. So that's what the Super Guard does. Makes sense. Not bad. Wait, so what are we supposed to do here? Oh yeah. Bingo. This game is weird, I don't care, and it makes no sense, but still. Now that's interesting. And let's not forget the star piece. Yeah, you have to get a lot of these. Wish you had the spin attack that was in the previous game. I do apologize over my constant BRB and such. I help my mom. Nice, we got another fire flower. We've now arrived in the town of Petalburg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yepity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. Pfft. So anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Alright, progress saved, let's move. And I miss these games. That's when they all had a sense of personality. Dang it. There you go. Hmm. Who is it? Someone there? Who is it? Who? Who do you? What do you want from me? I know. You're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa? Respectable. <laughs> go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do it without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you folks looking for crystal stars. Well, why didn't you pop up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Um, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Aha, uh -huh, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. 
Well, this hotel's brutal fly-by snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So are you reckless fools, I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. Yep, but good at Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, <laughs> that's a fine name. Yes, yeah, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy, it's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that hooktail monster. Why do they... Why the hell would they call us Murphy? And who's this? Ah, uh, bonjour, mademoiselle. It's a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dollar and come away with one. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, I swing you disco wannabe. Take a hype, bozo of the dark. Oh, sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else. Top of the morning, tis I, Bob Bob. I'm as happy as it can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. I mean, must I have to keep smacking the thing over and over and over and over? Nope, can't really do much. Because many of them are found underground. Who are they? Hey, hey, it's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is famous for its clear water, clear air, and one more thing. That big bat hook town. We can't wait to see it. Are they out of their minds? Oh wait, they must be. Really, email? You got an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox SP. Press start to access the menu and check your email. You'll find it under important things on your computer screen. Really? A mailbox XP based off a of Game Boy Advance? Hello, Mario. Working hard. Let's see? Professor Franklin. Rollport Direct Mail Service. Alright. Alright, let's continue. An old stronghold called Schwartz Forges lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. This gate is to keep it out. My job is to guard the gate. But if the mayor said it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please! Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. How to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Just say it already, man! Well, um, oh, just just forget it. Never mind, ignore me. G -g Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Yep, stars on, and stars under the ground. But for now, let's move, because we don't even have what we need for it yet. Nice. Three star pieces, so. Really, you're gonna fight now? Let's go. First things first. We, we analyze our enemy. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. 
Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. You heard my friend and now you're gonna pay. Gotta be stylish. What makes it even better? We leveled up. Now we can choose our upgrades. You can choose HP, FP, or BP. We'll stick with HP for the time being. This raises our HP up to 15. But if you wonder about your partner, don't worry. We'll worry about that much later. Yeah, don't do that. That deals with you. Was not paying attention. Just gotta keep on being stylish. Not bad. We're doing pretty good. This one gives us a ground, ground power block. Who are these guys? Okay, time for us to learn what these guys are. That's a ball trap. Basically a rock monster with a swervy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP 2, attack 1, defense 2. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. it. Might be best to attack with, say, a power block. Lucky for us, we do have. That was unexpected, this is. And rather unfortunate, too. No, don't do that. Yeah, you wanna try me? It was a bit early. <laughs> Gotta keep on being stylish. But as the game presses on, our audience gets bigger. Fine, the fight continues. Oh, 
Always gotta be stylish, I always say. Another pal block. That's gonna be needed for later. What's this? Okay. No. What are these guys? That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is 2, attack 1, defense 4, and they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump on it and use your hammer, you better use an item. I already know which one I want. Like that. As if it's pretty obvious. Now we're proceeding further. Wow, you suck! Nice effort, but not nice enough. Six star points added. That might help. Yes, our onion coupon. A free pass lets us stay one free night at the end. Let's go. Starting to get bit too easy. And you notice this. Hit this black to replenish all the HP of Mario and his partner. Doing this will also replenish all of Mario's flower points. However, it'll cost you the number of coins shown in the box, so be ready to pay. Yep, five coins. Let's save our progress. What's this? Wow, you're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress, you must want stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. But if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. <laughs> so what do you want to do? Let's go. <laughs> you're in for it now. Hey, hey, ladies and germs, welcome everybody to the 65th Super Fun Quirk Quiz. Perk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But get three of them wrong and you'll suffer a cruel and unusual punishment. Now, for the first question, what's hidden in this place? Stone keys. Is that your real answer? You sure? Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy. It only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. 
What do one Mr. Softener and one Mr. Fireflower cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total, 12 coins. <laughs> wrong, 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 you fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're gonna suffer like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Well, croup. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. So prepare yourself. Now, not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Ah, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. So prepare yourself. Are you ready for the diabolical question five? How can one get from pedal metals to rogue port? Go through a pipe. Ah, right again. Tell me you didn't just get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. On to question six. Which of the following creatures have hands? Is that your real answer? Are you sure? No! That's, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through, stupid rules. That was done. And what does this give me? This is the multi-bounce. Jump on all foes in a row with perfect action commands. This one costs also. But once we level up, we'll hopefully get new, more badges. And now we gotta deal with these nutheads. Fussies! Johnny! Hate these things! Okay, analysis on the fuzzy. That's a fuzzy! What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine! Max HP 3, attack 1, defense 0. These things suck up your HP and use it to replenish your own. Is that the worst? I mean, ew! This doesn't sound only totally gross. Anyway, guard against them by pressing A the moment they release you. The timing's pretty hard to master, so practice up. These things really suck HP. Yeah, they do. Nice. Or you can just butt mash. Was well, not easy. Yeah, I'm not dealing with these fuzzies. Ow! What the hell? Guess I'll have to rely on jump attacks. That's working. Okay, buddy. Good. 
Not. Nope. That was worth it. Nice, we had an HP drain. Simultaneously attack foes and replenishes your own HP. Yep, it is an HP drain. And we get the first item. The Sunstone. A mystical stone shaped like the sun. Really? Fuzzies again? There's more than one way to deal with these nitwits. Open fire! That was worth it. Got him. We're close to reaching level three. I'm leaving. No stone on time with this. That's more like it. Great. Seriously, this is starting to get a little too easy, but I'm not letting my guard down. Gotta be faster. Nope, unlucky. And that's another level up guaranteed. We're upgrading up to FP. Now we have 10 FP. We're gonna need it. This one nets us the Moonstone. More fuzzies? Really? I got more ways of dealing with that. That was easy enough. But why do I have this feeling that something bad's about to go down? Hey, you suspicious types. This is our place. Coming in here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Mini boss, the gold fuzzy. Well, two can play a that game, you know. And now assess. That's something you have to work for. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP 10, attack 1, defense 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gaudy. That's what I want to know. Me 
Hey, hey, ow, you chunks are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet. Everyone, get him. The hell just happened? I see. So this war has only 20 HP. That's not even close, buddy. Goombella, would you be so kind as to finish the job? Thanks. 20 experience. These things freak me out. At least we're done here. Yeah, I'll pay five points to heal. Let's get on with it. We're almost done here. That was fun. That was a messy way of missing. Oh, and then raising it up to a 50. Sheesh, attack power is boosted. That's not going to be the thing. Nice, we get a power punch. Boost your partner's attack power by adding buffness. That's impressive. And we won't have to worry about these guys. Well, that took a slow time. Seriously, I have not played this game in years, and I still got it. I was lucky enough to even get a copy of it on eBay. And yeah, you can thank Dr. Dark 7 for this. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to do Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2, Star Fox Adventure, Star Fox Assault. And I've got a lot to work with. And you missed. How did I mess that up?
Nope, I'm not lucky. No. Huh? Yo, that is wrong. We'll need that brown pound later. Much better. That was a well-timed hit. Got the super guard timing right. We gotta return all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> gotta keep on being stylish. That nailed it. Finally made it back to town. Guess we now know what must be done with the, both the sun and the moon. get a few items just to be safe. Hmm. Hello, is this your first vis visiting one of our shops? Let me give you the explanation. Customers earn one shop point for each item they buy. As you build your points, you earn various prizes. The prizes are explained inside each store. And that's it. Need to hear it again? No. So the highest is basically 300 at gold bar times 3. And we'll probably be needing two fire flowers. I'm here to store. That's it. All right, that's five points now so far. Now we need to head back to the beginning of the game. Um, excuse me. Him again. It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something. You can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Um, see, I was wondering 
Would you? Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago. But he never came back. I miss him, of course. Miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everybody always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. For real? No kidding. Yes. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Koops has officially joined our party. Now for tutorial. Koops' abilities. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to receive, retrieve distant items and hit switches. Like Cooper. If you hold X, you can hold the shell in one place after shooting it. After holding his shell, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Koop's shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hand hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, a shell toss. He can also strike all ground-based enemies with his power shell. To swap your partner in the field, press start and go to the party menu. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Koops! Oh, golly! Hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo. But I want to be tougher. For you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place? It's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid? and sort of a crybaby. I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine, ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, we'll come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Nice trick. Now let's demonstrate his abilities. But if you're really skilled, you can pull that off well enough. Nine star points. We're getting close to leveling up. We're right now at level three. Nice hit! You know what? Let him do it. Shell toss! I missed how it was in the first game. Will you just hold left screen in and release what it flashes up? Here, though, it's a bit more complicated. This gives us happy hearts. Slowly and automatically restore HP during battle. And that costs two. If I level up and reach up to six, six I can equip that. Which can be useful in the long run. Yo. Yeah. What I did that? 
God, I'm a moron. Whenever a toad hits an item, just don't. It only works on enemies. I hope they give you the bag with the ability to pretty much, like, like, use your partner on the same turn you switch it. It adds a lot more strategy to me. I see. That was easy. Just a bit more. We'll hopefully level up soon enough. Back where we started. We put the sunstone. And then the moonstone. What's this? Here begin at the path to Dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreated. You seeks to proceed, a power of two must hit both switches simultaneously. If you're pedal but Koopa Huzzah, your hold ability make this choice now. Like that. And we unlock the warp pipe. We did it. That's gonna be it for this. Next time, we'll head into the castle and take the fight to Hooktail itself. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to hit the like button, it means a lot. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. I will see you in the next. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. This journey ain't gonna be a pretty one, that's for sure.